killed the mood. Killed the mood. That's not very nice. <laughs> yes! Oh, did you see? Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, gay schools and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror Bandwagon. My name is Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for horror analysis. Criticism. And spooky. Okay. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to another Buffy the Vampire Slayer reaction. Today we are covering season two, episodes three and four. Yes, the first two episodes were a great way to start the season. We are ready to embrace every nook and cranny, monster and witch that we come by mm -hmm. but you guys in the comments actually provided some great insight on something that i did not know is that cordelia the actress who plays cordelia charisma uh -huh. carpenter actually was supposed to be buffy huh. and sarah michelle geller auditioned for cordelia but then they like switch roles and they make so much more sense in their roles now i think each of them would have done great oh, in, they still would have. in the opposite you know roles but I think this is iconic still. But before we get started, y'all know what to do. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon, where you can find full watch alongs of every episode of Buffy that we have watched so far and a bunch of other movies and shows that we've covered. Or you can click the join button below to join our YouTube membership. And finally, don't forget to check out our Discord where you can talk to us about Buffy and anything else that's on your mind. The link is gonna be in the description below. But without further ado, let's get to slaying. She alone will stand against the vampires, the demons, and the forces of darkness. She is the slayer. Giles says it so like, he, it's like he has a, a glass of wine with him and he's oh, just like yes. let me just seduce you right now who do you think is the most troublesome student in this school buffy summers oh, oh it is quite this is giving like very rupaul who do you think you should go home tonight and why yes burnt down a school building well that was never proven the fire marshal said it could have been mice mice M mice that were smoking he really has it out for her oh my god is parent-teacher night. Your parents, assuming you have any, will meet your teachers. <laughs> what if they were dead? What if my parents died? Huh? I don't think he gives a shit. He hates children, which is why oh, he's a true. principal. I'm clear. Don't you feel clear? We're very clear. Good. I mean, can't you see that Buffy is at least attempting to like right? say good like, graces? She's like, listen, I'm trying to be like smooth sailing. Guys making party favors, huh? His two worst students. That's what my mom sees when she looks at me. A Sheila. Well, well Sheila's definitely intent. That man is like 40 years old. Excuse me, ma'am. What's Sheila's excuse? Homework. She won't do it. And most teachers respect that now. <laughs> Buffy truly has it harder. Mm. I feel for her. As someone who slays. Something really bad happens between now and then you'll be fine. Are you crazy? It's the ultimate jinx. What were you thinking? What were you even thinking at all? Yes. Putting it in a place, you know? And that was that necessary. Sir, you can't do that. All right, I mean. Wait, this is my stripping song. Hold up. Ooh, we got a bad boy up oh, in here. Oh my God. Home sweet home. So okay. you know how in Charmed, that you said that there was like a very iconic uh -huh. person that came on. This is Buffy's. All right. And this is weird because I thought like, I don't know why I felt like Spike came in in like season five or something like that. This is how you know that I do not remember anything from this show. Power shall be at its peak when I kill her. It'll be the greatest event since the crucifixion. Bro, you ain't shit. Actually there. It would have been like Woodstock. I ought to rip your throat out. Sounds kinky. I like it. So, who do you kill okay. for fun around here? 
I mean, you gotta love a vampire with an accent. Drusilla. Oh. Now you see the handsome face. This one has power. I could feel it from the outside. Uh, anointed one is like, leave me alone, leave me out of it. I'm a princess. <sighs> That's what you are. They're about to fuck, like right now, in front of us. Killer for me. It's done, baby. Killer for princess. I'll chop her into messes. I just feel like I'm like on an acid trip right now. <laughs> like I'm just like <laughs> intertwined. Like I'm being seduced by both of them. Oh, you know that they definitely bring in a third all the time. Oh, but they and also kill them, yes. like at the same time. Yeah. yeah. What do you think your teachers are gonna tell me about you? I think they'll all agree that I always bring a pen to class ready to absorb the knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> See, I always loved parent teacher night. I feel well, no, I didn't love I love it for the wrong reasons, because I think you got out of school early. I don't remember that. I think you got out of school early in my school. But I would always do after school activities and then meet up with my parents afterwards. What I don't want is to be disappointed in you again. Well, it's the last thing that I want too. That is literally what Cody told me the other day. I don't want to be disappointed in you again. I'm like. I would never say that. I'm struggling just as Buffy is. Good ones tonight. Because of how you thought Angel might show? If he does, he'll meet some other nice girl. Studying comes first. We're going to the bronze. Xander is still at it. Oh, there's another Scooby shirt that- I'm loving it. Willow is wearing. He didn't make balloon animals. Uh, he led a crusade of, of uh, vampires. They swept through Hadessa, Haran, and Points East. Super casual, Not, nothing big. Todd, flip, don't you think? This is serious. And getting kicked out of school is laughs of plenty? You know what happens when you- <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll help. Yeah, I'll whittle steaks. And I can research stuff. And while I'm whittling, I plan Aww. to whistle a jaunty tune. See, I love that they're just so supportive. Especially now, because they're really emphasizing on the fact that, like, Buffy is struggling with her parents and with the principal, but also juggling slaying. It's like, she needs to prioritize one. Well, and also, like, the last two episodes were really clear that she needs her friends. Yeah. I feel an expulsion coming on. No, no, actually, Sheila's been helping us for hours. Um, she just went out to get some more paint. Uh, Sheila's not looking too good. Thanks for covering. The guy's a serious rodent. <laughs> no problem. I mean, I don't she's, disagree. She's like, I can relate, so don't worry. It's been studying like 12 minutes. No wonder my brain's fried. Come on. That was me during school. I've been studying for five minutes. I can go like spend an hour doing something else now. Oh no, this is scary actually. He's kind of making me nervous. I mean, he's not doing anything other than what Angel did. I mean, true. He would also glower in the background and slowly walk through crowds staring at Buffy. But we also know that this guy seems psychotic. I need to call the police. There's some big guy out there trying to bite someone. Oh, that was a little too easy. Slayer. Slay. <laughs> Work, bitch. Mm -hmm. Love the line. I don't need to wait for St. Vigius. You're mine. All right. Damn, I need to be that flexible. Was this the original guy that was supposed to kill her? Yep, now he's dead. Who are you? You find out on Saturday. Happens on Saturday. Oh my God. I kill you. I'm sorry, but that accent, like, I just need it to be vibrating in my asshole. Like, <laughs> you need to leave. I'm sorry. Like, that's what Angel is missing, is an accent. <laughs> Do you want it? Where'd she go? What, what the fuck? We got a disappearing act here together. Not funny. <laughs> Who are you? Who do you want me to be? And suddenly I'm on my knees. I really need to control myself. <laughs> I just... Once he starts something, he doesn't stop until everything in his path 
is dead. Hmm. So he's thorough, goal oriented. Angel knows him. Oh shit! Centuries of dating. If you only had two a year, that's still like 400 dates with 400 different. <laughs> Why do they call it a mate? <laughs> <laughs> Willow is too smart for no. own good. Angel, do you know if this Spike fellow goes under any other name? Okay, that's it. I'm putting a collar with a little bell on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> we need more information, Angel. You can't just be dropping info and then just leaving. Yeah, but he's gonna try to go be a hero, I'm sure. Out of turn, she's a bad example. And we'll have no cakes today. I want to know more about her. I want me to like, hear her backstory because it's just creeping me out. The hell mouth will restore you, put color in your cheeks, metaphorically. Oh, they just, she's right there, hanging up. You should go up with them and cleanse. True. The boy doesn't <laughs> trust you. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to. It's not my style. You seem as Edith. If you'd been good, you could watch with the rest. Oh! <laughs> Why does she look ten times more terrifying than any of the rest of them? I don't know. Savage attack on the night of St. Vigis. Does anybody remember when Saturday night meant date night? You sure don't. <laughs> I can't look. Cordelia yes, Cordelia! Stays being part of the team, uh. but still being fucking great. It gives life. I made it fresh and everything. How much sugar did you use? Sugar? Oh. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> the comedy is honest. I think they turned up the comedy. Mm, I think so too. Right after Willow shows you the library. <laughs> I have to stay here and hostess. Right, the library. Uh, the library where, where everyone the is preparing for a vampire attack. She wouldn't have said much. You know, she doesn't speak a word of English. Fuck. Are you gonna say what language she does speak? Is that your mom? Now that is a woman that knows how to moisturize. Did it like skip a generation? Well, I believe that I have- Yes! I love that she, you know, shows respect mm -hmm. in certain areas. And his nickname by torturing his victims with railroad spikes. Now here's some good news. He's barely 200. He's not even as old as Angel. Oh, he's so young. Spike has fought two slayers in the last century, and he's killed them both. I mean, two is a is a lot under his belt. Mm hmm Because there's only like one slayer like at a time, right? Mm hmm People are definitely still there. <laughs> What can I say? Oh, oh shit, okay. Good mic. What is everyone thinking about this? Like she can't be like full badass right now? Nobody gets out, especially the girl. Oh, why'd they grab that random parent or teacher? <laughs> yes! Willow, Willow, we, we love you. Yo, Bobby's doing a really great job at leading this. I'm a veal kind of guy. You're too old to eat. Oh! 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 Did you see? Oh! That's not very nice. That was somebody's parent. Yeah. Who's whose dad is that? I'm not going anywhere until I know that Buffy and Willow are all right. No one will be all right unless we get some help. Wait, what was the plan? I think he's gonna go find Angel. Okay, good, 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 good. Look, but is there something wrong with their faces? Yes, PCP. It's a gang on PCP. We've gotta get out of here. <laughs> Honestly, go with it, go with it. Out, nobody comes in until I say so. Do you hear me? Who do you think you are? I'm the one that knows how to stop them. Oh, if only she was like, if only she said, I'm Buffy, the vampire slayer. Mm -hmm. Then we could have finished our drinks. Yeah. Hey, Mom. Slayer, here, kitty, kitty. He's unhinged. Mm -hmm. Unhinged. Hey, what are you doing? There are at least three vampires in that hall. God only knows how many others in the building. It took so long to put all those chairs up. Be careful. Push these uh... back as soon as I. Oh! <gasps> oh my God! 
Oh, and hair looking still flawless. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to take the vamps out in the hall. After that, you get my mom and the others out the same way. If I don't make it out of here, I know you'll make sure she does. If I do right, I will. <laughs> Stop. Their bond is already super tight. I love it. An idiot. I'm beginning to see a certain mother-daughter resemblance. <gasps> Bitch, you did not. No! Look, you heard what Buffy said. Mama, you, you can see what Buffy's dealing with now, right? Use your head. <laughs> All right, Spike got some jokes. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't even for him. He, I thought he was kind of like literally like he was the guy's head. Yeah, to... me too. All right, whose parent slash teacher is that? Does anybody want to claim him? You know a lot about the Spike guy, so um, you got a plan? <laughs> Good plan. Oh, <laughs> bitch. This school's never having another parent-teacher conference ever again. Mm -hmm. I do know one thing, though. They'll be back at school tomorrow morning like nothing happened. Perfect. Nice. Now, did her mom see that? This should be fun. Is she on our side? I don't know. No. Angelus! <laughs> Spike! Angelus? Oh, Wait, why does Angel look super hot there? Oh my god. You should have someone out there. I uh, did. I'm surrounded by it. Angel turn Spike? Are off my back when I feed. <laughs> People still fall for that Anne Rice routine. The Anne Rice routine. Want a bite before we kill her? Mm -hmm. Stay behind me. I mean, I really I, hope Angel I, is I, just I think, like. I mean, he's pulling. He's, he's getting an Oscar. He's getting an Emmy for this performance. Oh. oh. <laughs> Do you want to go again, sister? Get them out. You're coming too. In a minute, go. Buffy! Uh, I haven't seen you in the killing fields for- It's so hard because like as a mom, like as if I was a parent, I'd be like, I'm going with you, but I you can't. <laughs> you think you can fool me? Spike ain't no bitch. Spike is like, Come on, people. This isn't a spectator spot. <laughs> yes, yeah, they're front. <laughs> Do we really need weapons for this? I just like them. They make me feel all manly. They are giving so many great lines to Spike. Mm -hmm. Like, he's really delivering. It's gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> All right, Sander. There's literally so much battling happening. I may have been a little premature with the Sander praise, but they are vampires yeah. and he's not a slayer, so <laughs> I'll give him a pass. You yes, get mama. The help from yes. Yes. <laughs> I got a body inside, and I got another one on the south lawn. It looks like he was pulled right through the window. I told him not to go through that window. What a sleaze ball! I know he is a rodent, <laughs> and not like a cute one. You decided to start avoiding me. Oh! Oh, they're gonna do it. If he bit me, what then? We would have known he bought it. <laughs> What's the deal with you being Spike Sire? What's a sire? Wait, well, yeah, what is a sire? So, like, in the traditional term, the si a sire is the term for, like, a father of somebody. Oh. But in this case, a vampire sire would be the person, the vampire who turned them. Hey, guys, future Sergio and Cody here. We wanted to pop in really quickly because... We wanted to kind of discuss something that we actually missed. Shout out to our Patreon members because they called it out. Unfortunately, we did talk over it, but it was actually a very 
kind of important piece of dialogue that yeah. went over our heads. So we wanted to kind of like mention it right now. Do you want the usual story? Gang related, PCP? But you have in mind the truth. Right. Gang related. Which definitely indicates that he knows more about what's going on. Which we didn't find out until we we recorded our reactions like after the fact. Mm -hmm. So there might be some pieces of commentary that we make that, you know, we like to poke fun at the fact that like everything goes back to normal the next day. But that's the gag of it all is that Principal Snyder kind of seems like he's involved or he knows about it or is yeah. covering it up or maybe this whole conspiracy theory of everything covering up it kind of really does add another layer to the story moving forward which kind of will help in us creating theories for what's to come yes this is definitely a really interesting twist and i can't wait to like think about it and yeah. see more and like start to put my theories together well that also just it just makes principal snyder be a little bit more uh have a little bit more depth to this character instead of just being like i have funny lines i hate kids but no there's something going on here especially how he said it, like which story do you want to tell and it was like let's be real here well and it also is interesting because he is so hard specifically on buffy mm -hmm. and if he knows at least something about like everything uh, that's going on do you think he's trying to help them maybe defeat so like, buffy or maybe he's like trying maybe he's really on buffy's side but he's just giving tough love maybe i don't know well we just wanted to pop in really quickly and just mention that okay reaction continue i'm gonna sleep better knowing all that how long till this wears off and you start ragging on me again no oh, at least we can have oh <laughs> <laughs> And if you get me out of this, I swear I'll never be mean to anyone ever Oh, again. I totally forgot that they were in there. I love the look on Willow's face, though. A slayer with family and friends. That sure as hell wasn't in the brochure. You okay now? That right there shows you that she's stronger. Mm -hmm. You failed. I, um, I offer penance. Penance? You should lay down your life. He really doesn't respect this kid at all. I would do it exactly the same, only I'd do this. No! Oh, wait, how'd you kick him? I mean, yeah, he's a kid. Why didn't you do this in the first place, guys? More fun around here. <gasps> oh, he just brought him to the sunlight. Wow. And I thought the anointed one was gonna like be this big bad someday. Nope. Damn. All right, guys. So that was our reaction to season two, episode three, School Hard. Now, what did you think? Oh my God, I loved this episode because we got to see like everyone holding their own. We got to see like Buffy's mom saying that she's proud of her and like see what a badass she is. I also love that they're giving the mom so much more action to do. Yes. Like, you know, she's not just like in the same set, which is like the house, you know, mm -hmm. or she's driving Buffy to school. No, she's like part of the action. And I guess she really doesn't know that it's vampires or that she has extra special powers, but she just knows that her her daughter is in is in good hands and honestly it needed that it because yeah. easily we could have had the mom be like just like extra in the way right but like she is now she knows the principal she knows the deal mm -hmm. so she trusts buffy a little bit more yeah and i feel like the show is really like starting to hit its stride which is not to say that the first season was not good because it was great but i feel like the they figured themselves out through the first season and then they had to do a little bit of setup in the first two episodes but like we're really getting into it now oh this is now a whole different show yes. everything from the first season is now over mm -hmm. right like well obviously because we passed that but like all the plot lines are over from there and now spike is here he fucked over the the anointed one and on top of that, we got more lore from Angel. Yeah. There's a connection between Angel and Spike, which 
I don't think Buffy knows that much. No, only Xander knows. Only Xander knows, which of course only Xander's Xander knows. Immediately say though, because Maybe. he doesn't like Angel. He doesn't like Angel, but it seemed like they were working together pretty well here. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you're right. Everyone got into the action. This was a very thrilling episode. Yes. Like, this is perfect TV right here. Spike is obviously hot. Mm -hmm. I want to know about, um, what's her face? The, 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 the partner. Oh, yes. Of Spike. Because she's so interesting. She's like, I just want to be in a room with her and just be like, what's going on, girl? I, I'm i sensing that there's more to her than meets the eye. Like, she feels like she's a little more than just a vampire. Yeah. We, we need to know a little bit more about she her. She could, like, sense the power of the anointed one. She said that she could, that there was just, like, darkness around Buffy. And she is kind of the one leading Spike. Yeah. Like she, like Spike will do anything for her. Mm -hmm. um, so that's gonna be interesting. I cannot wait. Again, th this is this is just awesome. Just going back, refreshing my mind on what's happening, but also like you are figuring all this shit out for the first time. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I would like to, I would like to just place a random, just like shot in the dark prediction about this girl. Okay, go for it. I think maybe she is one of the two slayers that he killed she is yes okay because just because like there's more to her than just the vampire thing mm -hmm. and we know he's killed two slayers yeah true now i truly don't know so i can't answer that for you but it's a good theory um and as usual no spoilers in the chat guys mm -hmm. all right guys so you know the deal we're gonna go on to the next episode <laughs> Cultural exchange. Okay. Oh, this is cool. I love these kind of museums. Look, 100% Swedish, 100% gorgeous, 100% staying at my house. So how's your- Oh, that is awkward, Cordelia. Don't make it awkward. What do you lack in smarts? He makes up in lack of smarts. You just don't like All right. because of that time. I'm, I'm going to keep a close eye on anyone who's done that. <laughs> I wasn't going to use violence. I don't always use violence, do I? The important thing is you believe that. <laughs> that is your level of sarcasm. <gasps> what a read. Incan people sacrificed their princess to the mountain god Saban Kaya, an offering buried alive for eternity. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Whenever we learned about, like, mummies and Egypt, like, I was so, like, I loved it. I loved learning about it. Sunnydale Bus Depot. Classy. What a better way to introduce someone to our country than with a stench of urine. <laughs> now, if you... Take them to the New York City subway system. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, that's scary. That's very scary. I mean, that was scary when it happened in The Mummy, the movie. I just want to be included in an opening credits like this, where you just have all the clips be them turning. So can I go? I think not. One more time, Charles. Can I go? Blah, bitty blah. I'm so stuffy, give me a scone. <laughs> you know me. Your secret identity is going to be difficult enough to maintain. While I like that he does that in a suit. Mm -hmm. Date though, romance, flowers, lips. Oh come on! In all the years you've known Willa, you've never thought about her lips. Oh 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 oh. She's the kind of girl that I'm best friends with. Hey guys. Willa. Oh no. Mm. Giles, where were you? Why not give a, like, oh, <clears throat> oh. Willow must be protected at all costs. Last night. You know, I don't think I remember seeing Rodney on the bus back from the field trip. I didn't either. I hope he didn't get in trouble at the museum. So do they not even do the bare minimum of taking like, attendance? Where is everyone on the bus? Perfect. On the other hand, maybe Rodney just stepped out for a smoke. For 21 hours? It's addictive, you know. <laughs> You're right, Willow. There's 
Sir, who are you? Very advanced. Yes, yes, very. Do they have orthodontists? Is that braces? Uh-huh. No, I'm late. I told my mom I'd pick him up. Uh, uh, Buffy, where are your priorities? Tracking down a mummifying killer or making time for some Latin lover who's stalking... Not the Latin lover. Xander. She promised that he would, she would pick him up. Oh, yeah. Fall for the old, let me translate that ancient seal for you, come on. Do you know how many times I've used that? Oh, my God. All right, that was funny. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my God. Yo, justice for Empata. I know. He literally... I didn't deserve that. He was here in a foreign exchange program. She should have taken that into account. Okay. Mummy. Like, she literally came in and was like, fashion? Yes. Of course, the second that the exchange student turns out to be an attractive woman. Xander's like, Xander's let's do like, it. This is fine. Boy, oi, oi, oi. So, Empata, you're a girl. Yes, <laughs> for many years now. It's <laughs> fair. <laughs> so, have you ever been to America before? Uh, I, I've toured. Where did you go? Okay, her English seems pretty fine, Xander. Yeah, like she's speaking great. Well, that works out well because I talk much. <laughs> <laughs> Xander, keep it chill, please. Teach me everything about your life. I want to fit in, Buffy. Just like you. A normal life. Uh, oh. you don't want to be like her. Or maybe you do. I'll be standing at the edge of the stage. What's that guy? Sven! Oh. <laughs> Memento! Nita! Oh, Cordy. I do love her hair, though. Her hair is just like, she looks like a Hollywood starlet. I like that the bangs are like whooshed back. Into I, the rest I of dig the it. Hair. Well, it involves a feather ball and a theme to a summer place. I can't discuss it. You're too picky, man. He's so young. You know who it is, right? Of course okay. I do. Okay. He's so young. I just feel like he's always young, though. Every time Wait, I look at him, he's always young. Well, he has, like, one of those faces, but here he looks like he's, like, 19. He's a little baby. I know. How do you do? I was, I was wondering if you could um, translate this. I was in no way awkward. Oh, <laughs> this, is, this is odd. I wonder if she's going to, like, actually help them out. He's very old and valuable. You should hide it. <laughs> I, I think this represents I believe the word is Bodyguard Oh like the plate is Oh that's the guy uh -huh. that's literally going around Oh Willow maybe you could Stay with Impata for the day I'd love to <laughs> Yes that will be fun Well Xander you might be in danger girl And I really don't think he cares Boy They really like each other Oh Stop it. Willow. I really hope that someday we get to see Willow find love. She deserves it. She really does. Till he notices me, or I can just get on with my life. Good for you. Well, I didn't choose you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait a minute. She just gave us the options. It's you. All right, good going, Xander. Mm -hmm. I know my ass would trip down to the whole thing. I just don't know what we, we should do with it. Destroy it. Oh. If you do not, someone could die. Oh, she knows a lot more than you think. We're in the crime club, which is kind of like the chess club, only with crime and um, no chess. Xander, get it together. <laughs> you should take her to the dance. That's a good idea. We'll all go. No, I mean, just you. Oh, this is her way of letting go. We'll meet there tonight after it closes. No, bad plan. I have other plans, dance plans. Giles, come on, have some fun. Oh, poor Buffy. She just wants to go to the dance. 
<laughs> and she's doing such a good job today. Like she's getting everything right. Oh, he got you, girl. Oh, <gasps> no. I do. Oh, damn! He went down fast. Uh huh. Oh, and does she have more life in her cheeks? I think so. Now? She's a lot rosy cheeked. Hmm. I'm not going. Why not? I have work to do. Crime club work. It's really nothing for you to worry about. <laughs> We're sticking to the crime club. This one? Oh, no, that clashes. There should be a gold one in there somewhere. Thank you. You were always thinking of others before yourself. But because a girl's girl. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to look out for you. She was offered as a sacrifice and went to her death. Who knows what she had to give up to fulfill her duty to others? What chance at love? Wait, hold up. She's so right. She just wants to have a normal life. I'm from the country of Leone. It's in Italy, pretended to be Montana. <laughs> oh my god. Are you from the country of white trash? Oh, shoot. That's rude. I can translate American salivating boy talk. He says you're beautiful. <laughs> You look good. Maybe she is jealous. I don't know. Hey. Oh my God. Willow is not having a good episode. Yeah. Wait, can Seth Green really like play the guitar? I don't know. Hold up a second. Am I getting attracted to like Seth Green? He does have a certain appeal. There's something about it. I thought we were going to be at the museum to find the bodyguard. No, he's already been found. In the school restroom, mummified. Okay, I don't get it. Yeah. Why would the... Shut the school down. But it was his job to ensure that the mummy didn't awaken and escape. So I'm part of translated wrong. Perhaps. On purpose, maybe? How about this one? What kind of girl oh. travels with a mummified corpse? I like that Buffy is like sort of not shocked and mm -hmm. I would be screaming. <gasps> oh my God, look at how he looks at her. How come you don't look at me like that? Why am, is my voice up here when I said <laughs> that? Kill the mood, kill the mood, for the better. What was that? She has it until the strike of midnight. Piece together the fragments there. Okay, I'll still get Xander before he gets smoochy with Mummy Dearest. Mummy Dearest, that's a good reference. Sir, I got some bad news for you. Yeah, it's not going to end well. Empire. That's my cue to leave. Yeah, he's like, Xander's gonna kick my ass. Mm -hmm. Are those tears of joy, pain, revulsion? The lighting in this is like really cool. Mm -hmm. It's a secret, right? And if you told me, you'd have to kill me. <laughs> oh, you just had to say it, didn't yeah. you? I'm like, is there, are you trying to connect the lips? I can't tell. No, I can't. <gasps> oh my God, are you okay? Oh, she oh said she God, can. She cares about him. Oh my God. Oh, she can feel it. Where's Andrew? Oh my God. He's <laughs> Willow, just take it off. that girl he loves her he loves her mm -hmm. oh my god just one more piece <gasps> oh looks like you've been keeping secrets from me oh, that's so dirty <laughs> Oh, she, not with Giles. And we can be together. Just, just 
just let me have this one. That's never gonna happen. I must do it. Well, yeah, he's not gonna let her, like, suck the life out of Willow. But he's protecting Willow as a friend. <sighs> oh! <laughs> oh! How do you feel about that, Sander? I'm really the fun talking guy today, huh? <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. You don't have to talk. I j Sometimes you just gotta be there for your friends. Mm -hmm. They don't gotta talk. I had you to bring me back. Aww. Too sweet. All right. A very awkward moment. They had like a little moment. All right, guys, so that was our reaction to episodes three and four of season two. Now in regards to episode four, what did you think? I thought this was nice. It's like, it's hard to follow up after the last episode being like so. Oh, it was so thrilling, the, the previous episode. So yeah, we were riding on a high. But I still really like this one. I like that we got to see like, you know, Xander have a little bit of love interest that actually wanted him back, you know? Yeah. And I, I thought this was really interesting. I will say the only thing, and I'm sure we all, all know it, some of the dialogue and some of the things don't age pretty well. Yeah. So, but besides that, the story itself, I thought was really nice. And I do like that we were kind of diving deep into a little bit of Willow unpacking everything because we yeah. haven't really had a chance to do that with Willow. So I really like how it was a very emotional journey for her. Yeah. And surprise Seth Green, and <laughs> surprise jump scared Seth Green comes on stage. I hope that like he comes back and we get to see a little bit of love interest for Willow that isn't Xander. But as I said, the scenery, the makeup effects, I think we're all really cool. Justice for Empata, the original one, because mm -hmm. he literally was just there. We is, hardly knew ye. Is his family even going to be like, hey, what's going on? That's not important. Oh my God, that's so sad. Um, I feel like we could have had Miss Calendar in here, but Ooh. she was off doing different things. Maybe she was on vacation or something like that. Maybe. But guys, let us know what you thought about these two episodes down in the comments. We want to give a big thank you to our patrons. Thank you so much for all the support. We are so appreciative of it. You have no idea. We thank you guys so much. If you want to become a Patreon member, please go over to patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon. You'll get to have your name listed at the end of these videos. And if you want to unlock exclusive emotes and members only live and watch alongs, you can click the join button below to join our YouTube membership. Big thank you to those YouTube members and those who are both YouTube members and Patreon members. We appreciate you guys so much. But until next time, we have been your source for horror analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay? And sometimes kooky entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye.